Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for October 16th of 2021. Well, it is titled the Muna Lisa. So what do we see here? Well, we see a framed image of a, a of a bunch of pictures of our moon. And you'll note that they're all different colors. And these are actually natural colors of the moon. So these are the way the moon can actually appear in the sky from Earth. And you'll see a number of different variations from very red to almost a, a bluish color, very dark bluish, and some browns and grays in between. Now, how you'll see these depends on the positioning of the moon in the sky. Certainly, when you see it very low in the atmosphere, it will get a reddish tinge to it. And if you look at it, when you're seeing the moon being reflected uh, through reflected Earth light, what we call Earth shine, then you'll see a lot of the darker images are actually caused by that. So you're not actually seeing the moon being directly illuminated by the sun, which is how it normally shines. But sunlight reflecting off Earth to the moon and then back to Earth again. So we can see uh, those are a lot of the darker regions that we see here. And while the pattern may seem somewhat random on this, it actually is not. And if you work your way towards the smaller and smaller images, you might be able to see uh, one of Leonardo da Vinci's most famous works. So try looking at the very smallest image and you may be able to see that there as as well. Now again, we look at all the different colors, we notice that the pattern we see on the moon is always the same. That is because one side of our moon always faces Earth, it is tidally locked to Earth, meaning that it keeps one side facing Earth. So it doesn't matter when you look at the moon, you will always see that same side in order to see the other side, you actually have to travel around the moon. And only a handful of humans have ever seen that live. And that's those who traveled in the Apollo missions back in the 1960s and 1970s and actually did travel around the moon and were able to see what we call the far side of the moon. And we that would be the uh, furthest area, the backside that we never get to see from Earth. So while all of the moon gets illuminated at one time and there truly isn't a dark side to the moon there there is a far side that is always pointing away from Earth and that we have not been able to discover or to study in detail until the space age. So that was our picture of the day for October 16th of 2021. It was titled the Muna Lisa. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be looking through gravity's lens. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.